A recent study that has unsurprisingly found its way into every pro-vegan, anti-animal food content creator's arsenal is this one. The claim is that those that consumed more plant protein were less likely to suffer from heart disease than those that consumed animal protein. But what about all those PDCAS ratings that show egg protein to be the best? So it turns out that the reason for this study's findings is far simpler. It's not healthy protein. It's just healthy people. When you look into the actual data, you find that the people that ate more plant protein in this study also smoked and drank less and exercised more on average than the meat eaters. First off, I don't even know why he brought up the PDCAS score of eggs because that has nothing to do with health outcomes. It's a score just based on the digestibility and amino acid contents of a protein. And because I've covered issues with the PDCAS score in past videos and it's not really the subject of this video, let's move on to the study in question. Sure, the people who consumed more plant protein may have lived healthier lives on average, but the researchers are well aware of this. This isn't some profound insight that he has that just nobody else has ever thought of. And I would go so far as to say that these are some of the best researchers in the field, and they took steps to minimize the influence of those other variables on the results through adjustments. Now to really oversimplify, that process essentially allows them to compare people who are similar. In other words, comparing smokers to smokers, people who exercise to other people who exercise, and so on. And here we can see all the variables they adjusted for. They include age, sex, race, BMI, health history, socioeconomic status, diet quality, and so on. And eating more plant protein in place of animal protein was beneficial even after accounting for all of those variables. Plus, their results are consistent with past research done in different populations by different researchers using different methodologies, and when they all point in the same direction, we can be pretty confident in the results. So I'll leave you with this. In summary, go read the studies. Don't blindly trust influencers.